Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how the Assassin's Creed game series uses Autodesk to produce incredibly realistic animations for its most recent installment, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Many of our students are curious about the software and techniques that were used to bring these cutting edge animations to life for the highly anticipated franchise, which is making a comeback in its most recent chapter. Assassin's Creed Mirage's latest trailer is looking very promising and returning to the roots of the original franchise debut in 2007 with its realistic Parker gameplay and mixing later installments open world exploration. In this video we'll discuss how these award winning animations were made with Autodesk 3ds Max and Motion Builder paired with new motion capture tools, integrating state of the art animation techniques to remain true to its legacy source material and newer concepts how live action reference footage is used to inspire original acting choices, and the keyframe animation process. The latest installment of Assassin's Creed takes players back to the style of gameplay from the original, paying homage to where it all began. They are even going to allow players to enable a blue-gray palette similar to the very first Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Mirage, the latest installment in the series, will be created by the Bordeaux division in France. The studio has released several major Assassin's Creed projects, including The Wrath of the Druids, the first DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Mirage takes place prior to Valhalla with the unfolding story of cunning master street thief Basim. ZBrush is used to sculpt highly detailed facial features on high resolution models. These sculpts are critical for pre-rendered and in-game cinema-like quality detailing for next-gen hardware. Basim required incredible accurate facial features and custom blend shapes for hyper-realism. This is a testament to how technology has grown over the years in the franchise and will make a huge impact on immersing the player in the latest installment. Baghdad will be the setting for the latest installment in the series. Extensive research and concept art was created to maintain authenticity to the city. From concept, white box, to final renders, the city was meticulously designed to look as realistic and aesthetically pleasing as possible with various times of the day from dusk till dawn. Of course there will be many other unique worlds and maps to discover in the game beyond the main city. Customization of character assets will allow players an immersive experience and the design team has been hard at work keeping the themes consistent while adding modern design updates. Parker will be a heavy gameplay element returning many familiar elements from the first installment in the franchise. Some familiar stealth animations are being brought back for players to enjoy, such as the bench assassination. Combat has also been meticulously built to portray a highly agile assassin. Enemy AI has been updated to be more intelligent and responsive in the world. Spearmen can poke through haystacks. You'll even be able to control AI groups to hide more efficiently. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about class creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya by following the methods used to create Assassin's Creed animation. The full AAA animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Ubisoft Bordeaux's tech division is responsible for some of Ubisoft's most cutting edge technological advances including improvements and maintenance of Anvil, which is one of Ubisoft's core game engines. Originally created for the first Assassin's Creed game, Anvil has helped streamline the entire game creation process from development to testing. Since its creation, the engine has been utilized for dozens of Ubisoft titles. One of its most innovative features is its use of Autodesk's Human IK middleware package. The Assassin's Creed series has a very similar pipeline of other AAA titles using Motion Builder, for mocap solving, and 3ds Max for final animation. According to the Anvil Pipeline Director at Ubisoft, modeling is done in Autodesk 3ds Max for environment and in ZBrush for characters. Autodesk Human IK aids in calculating the positions of the playable character's hands and feet in the world such that they convey a convincing animation sequence. The latest installment of Assassin's Creed is going back to the roots of the original gameplay, where 3ds Max was utilized for creating engaging combat not only for attacks, but for the defense mechanics such as blocking and seamlessly stylized countering oncoming enemy attacks. 
Creating unique counters helped the stylization of the hero. Video reference from films helped animators spark the initial concept of giving the user a satisfying experience fending off multiple enemies at once, which have become signature aspects to the franchise over the years. With mocap, the raw data oftentimes lacks the visual punch necessary for attacks and impact. Here we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of a takedown from the original Assassin's Creed and the cleaned up version from 3DS Max. Tracking Ark's weapons by the animator allows for an easier view of the motions of the movements to assure that the combat will be smooth and seamless during gameplay to the user. Storyboards play a critical role in Ubisoft's cinematic creation process. This aids in both the planning of mocap shoots and the creation of cinematic character and camera animation. Animators then use the motion capture to create the best acting performances for the crucial storytelling cutscenes throughout the game. This workflow can vary slightly from studio to studio, which we have outlined in our previous behind the scenes videos on our channel with studios such as Sony Santa Monica, Naughty Dog and Insomnia Games Studios, where they jump right into live action video planning, motion capture performance acting, and 3D camera layout for shot planning. The Assassin's Creed series has advanced throughout the years in terms of gaming mechanics, storyline, and technological developments. Since its inception, the franchise has been built on a foundation of motion capture and keyframe animation, which helps to create the realistic appearance and feel of the main hero's motions. One specific development is that like many next-gen AAA games, the in-game meshes can match the high fidelity of those of the in-game cinematic meshes, whereas in previous gen consoles, the cinematic and gameplay meshes would differ drastically in polygon density. This helps to push the boundaries of how realistic the series can look visually to the player and gives the user a very high fidelity experience on next generation hardware. Assassin's Creed Mirage looks to combine everything fans have loved about the series from the start while integrating all the latest technological advancements in 3D game production with hopes to create the perfect blend of technology and visual storytelling gameplay. We have a lot of students who ask us why Autodesk products such as Maya, 3ds Max, and Mobu are important to learn in the game creation process. We get a lot of questions if Blender can be used just as easily for AAA production as standardized industry software such as Maya, and we hope that this video sheds some light on why Autodesk 3D animation software packages have become the industry standard for game production. One last thing, if you had dreams of working on the next Assassin's Creed installment Ubisoft games may be developing next, you'll want to brush up on those animation and Maya skill sets as they typically require an animation test with 3D software packages such as Maya or 3ds Max. So although Blender and other programs are becoming more and more powerful, Autodesk software still is the cornerstone to creating these AAA franchises. Of course it always comes down to how great your animation is on your reel and not the tools you utilize, but it's important to keep in mind why certain tools are utilized in production. Additionally, we'd like to add that Ubisoft is a gold member of the Blender Foundation, so they not only support it, they will also contribute money for its development. Ubisoft Animation Studio, a department of Ubisoft Film and Television, will mainly use Blender as your primary digital content creation tool and will also get developers to contribute. So although Blender is not currently being used for AAA title creation, such as the Assassin's Creed series, their film and television division is active in the Blender development community. Well that about wraps up this video on how Assassin's Creed through the years utilizes Autodesk 3ds Max and Mobu and why it's an important integral piece to the AAA animation game creation process. There's been no real change to this workflow for the past several decades and its use is still prominent today. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the franchise over time, how it has evolved, and how these AAA masterpieces are created. The newest entry in the series looks better than ever. Will you be playing on release day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!